This is an interesting question that I love to answer. Now, why is it very important to have a sustainable game economy? You see, because if there's no sustainable game economy, the whole thing is, you know, it will just collapse, right? And um, and if it's not sustainable, then people will, is it just something very short term? Now, let me ask you something. You see, most games, right? Uh, most play doing games um, have not really think through how to create something sustainable. They think of the game first, then we think of the sustainability issue. Now, there are many things that are done to cover the short-term you know, threshold here and there, but eventually, it's a bubble that will eventually explode. Now, let me ask you something. <clears throat> if, let's say, a play to end game have 10 million daily active users, right? And everybody only earns $5 a day. Right. Let's say everybody earn five dollars a day. So it means the this there's somebody giving up fifty million USD every day. Now the question is, where does this fifty million USD come from? Who's actually taking money out from their pocket to pay this fifty million? Question mark. Right. So now the next thing is, when players are receiving those tokens, if they cannot use in the real world, would you agree that people will eventually still sell it? Because they need to pay for rent, they need to pay for food, they need to go and travel. You might sell cash out in cash, right? So now imagine 10 million people cashing out every day. That's $50 million selling every day. Now, who is buying this $50 million? Who's actually buying it? So, so you must understand, every play to end game, right, have a nice story when the tokens received into the players. When they sell it, the question is always, who is buying? That token right and there's no buying then it's just a landslide down after you know um all the hype and things is over right so now of course you can say the company is paying it but if the company is paying it that you are actually bleeding you see so when you're bleeding right it's like a country you know forever printing money and then giving to its citizens so that is unsustainable and when it's unsustainable the rewards get lesser players stop playing so it's a is an entire link that actually happens. Now, when people ask, okay, so you can talk about, wow, every game is unsustainable. How is Affin sustainable? Now, we are very proud that we have spent more than a year trying to resolve this issue. Uh, we, are, we have a detailed blueprint how to create something sustainable. And you always have to ask, where does the money come from, right? That's the, that's the biggest question. Where does the money come from? So where does the money come from for Affin? Right, let me give you an example. The key feature of Affin in Nexus world, the metaverse, is what? How many of you know? The augmented reality campaigns, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So for example, we drive uh, traffic to one specific location. Let's say the shopping mall. We plant 20, 30, 50 buddies, you know, buddy characters there. Now, whoever can find a green dinosaur will win a trip to Paris. So everybody all around the world, oh, okay, I want to go to Paris. You know, they'll, they'll fly all the way to the shopping mall, go and hunt for the green dinosaur, you know, and they capture the rest, they earn fin token or whatever. Now, when people are going this, right, okay, we track based on geolocation, right? And every person that goes there based on geolocation, it's a metro, it, it's a it's a it's a data called um cost per visit, all right, called CPV. So cost per cost per visit is actually advertising revenue that the shopping mall will pay to the company because we bring awareness and bring traffic to one location. So it means to say, right, that is actual cash revenue into the company. When we have the cash revenue, what do you think we will do with the money? Just keep, we will take a portion of it to buy back the tokens from the secondary market and then reward back to the players. You see? So when we buy the tokens from the secondary market, right, the, you we answer a second question already. Who's actually buying the tokens? Right? Not us actually. It's actually the shopping mall who pays cash revenue to buy it to reward to the player. So this is one of the many aspects that keep the whole game sustainable that we only reward when there is cash revenue coming in. That's number one. Number two is that within Nexus World, where does the money come from? Again, it comes within the player's with inside the metaverse, inside Nexus world. So let me give you an example. Let's say I'm a merchant. I own, um, say, a cafe, right? So what I want to do is I want people to come to my cafe. What can I do in, inside Nexus? I can use my money. I can use fiat to buy the tokens from the secondary market and then organize a raid campaign, a PVE or a monster, right? And players can come to my cafe to fight this boss 
All right, and they can earn fin token. So where does the fin token come from? It comes from the merchant buying the token from the secondary market to reward to the players. So where does the money come from again? There is actual cash revenue from the merchant inside. So there are a lot of mechanics inside Nexus World. Uh, I'm not going to give up the full formula. This is what makes us very different. Uh, we won't share this out. Uh, we don't want to share to our competitors. But again, this is really our secret formula that we work so much nights just to detail this uh, blueprint. Yep.